the Thank You Canada Tour? What is the Thank You Canada Tour? I mean, um, the Thank You Canada Tour is a, a pretty special project to Tessa and I. We, we uh, always felt very lucky to be a part of um, a great Canadian skating family. And with that comes the support of a great skating nation um, that we've been able to, uh, I guess, thrive off of for, for 20 plus years. Um, so the Thank You Canada Tour is a way for us to go into all corners of the country, uh, making sure that uh, we're bringing our best Canadian skaters with us and, and kind of giving back and saying thank you to the fans for all the years of support and in our amateur career and also trying to push the sport. We love this cast. Uh, we're, we love our creative team that mostly is from Montreal here. and. Uh, we we want to make sure that we kind of take our skating into um, the show world, and that's what the Thank You Canada Tour is about. Yeah, we're hoping to really present figure skating in a different way in the entertainment realm and bring new aspects to life that hopefully just make it an all-around fun-filled show for, for everyone across the country. We just can't wait uh, to get this tour going. We're with such a fantastic cast, mm -hmm. and we're trying some new things with choreography, so I think it's a nice challenge for everyone. What can fans look forward to? Well, I think the fans will find that there's a lot more dancing in this show. Uh, we're, we're dancers, <laughs> but um, we're so happy to be working with Sam Schoenard, who is a, a hip-hop dancer that we've worked with for years. Um, and he brings such a special aspect to the show. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot more uh, of, of a group aspect. There's not a ton of solos. It's all of us on the ice together a lot of the time. And uh, hopefully that's more fun to see us interacting and also playing off each other's energy. This cast gets along really well, <laughs> sometimes too well. Um, but uh, that hopefully they can see us having fun and have fun themselves in the seats. And some audience engagement. We're oh yeah, yeah, yeah. flash mob. They're moving, so uh, we're, we're looking to get everyone involved in a certain sort of flash mob dance, so we can't wait. <laughs> now, so many people before you have said that, uh, talked this point about the, the chemistry mm -hmm. of the group. What do you think accounts for that? Well, actually, I think it's interesting uh, because we had the team event at the last two Olympic Games, and I think that was a big factor. We all... Are tied, we're tied together by the, the drive to win, to, the drive to win a Canadian Olympic gold medal together. And, um, you know, when you go through that uh, together, it's a special bond. And I think that's kind of carried over into our touring lives, into our professional skating lives, uh, if you want to call it that. And uh, also, it's just time on the road. I mean, we've skated with Patrick Chan, Megan and Eric since we were 16, 17 years old. And I've known Andrew, Tessa and I have known Andrew Poche since he was five. So <laughs> that's just uh, kind of the way it is. And we grew up watching Elvis Stoiko. So we just have a special tie. And uh, it's a special family, the Canadian skating family. We're, we're lucky to have, uh, have, so, have had so many great people come before us. Um, and that's why it was so important for us to have Elvis in the show, because he ties that all together for us and kind of off, every cast member here is like, that's, I think that's why I started skating, was watching right. Elvis. So <laughs> it's a special uh, moment to have him involved. What have you guys been up to since the Olympics? Oh gosh, what have <laughs> we been up to? Someone asked that the other day, what we've been up to, and I'm not sure either of us had an answer. We'd have to look at our calendars. <laughs> I like, know we, we've been busy. <laughs> we're like, is it, been, it's not March? We've been it's traveling <laughs> a lot, doing um, various sponsor engagements and different business endeavors, and, and yeah. just sort of taking some time. Although, have we, we taken toured, time? We toured a lot. Like, <laughs> We're lucky to be able to go around uh, around the world a little bit and, and, and share our sport and, and do shows. But we've, we toured till about halfway through July and then try to get, recover. But planning this tour has been a very exciting, but a lot of work. So uh, we kind of jumped right back into that. So uh, it feels like we haven't had much of a break, eh? No, but it's We're still riding the high. <laughs> it's neat to step on the production side of things for the Thank You Canada Tour and really be involved in all things from the venue interaction to um, the choreography to the costumes to the music mm -hmm. to you know lights everything about it so that's been a new challenge for us but I think you know when we take on a project we're all in and it will certainly be more fulfilling um, given that we have our stamp on on this show how much would you say fans supporters helped you guys along the way oh I mean it can go on and on and on to be honest like it's uh we're very fortunate to have had the careers we've had, but it's it's not an easy job being amateur athletes. Um, we don't we don't do it for the money, as we all <laughs> like to say. It's the word amateur uh, means a lot, but you know you you really do thrive off the support from fans. I specifically always look back to coming home from Sochi uh, after winning in Vancouver and coming home with a, a silver medal. Tessa and I were very pleased with our skates, but we kind of felt like we'd let Canada down and. 
uh, the, the support that we received was so heartwarming uh, and you know that pushed us forward I think that was a big reason why we wanted to come back in 2018 and uh, we've always kind of been so fortunate to have the support of, of Canadian fans and they're they're an educated fan um, they're we're a skating nation so uh, there's no fooling them and that also uh, you know pushed us every day in training uh, to make sure that we brought the best product forward for them yeah and in Pyeongchang I really felt where in Sochi we might have felt the pressure to defend <laughs> yeah. our title and we really wanted to, to bring home the gold for everyone. That felt like an extra stressor in mm -hmm. Pyeongchang. It felt like everyone was lifting us up and Absolutely. empowering us even more. And, and we knew that people were behind us um, from all across the country. And it, it truly meant a lot to us. I mean, the way everyone rallied and seemed to connect with our programs. Um, yeah, it was pretty special. Eh? Totally surreal and we're, we're so incredibly grateful. And what we don't talk about very often was the feeling in the venue that day. It was, I think, a great Canadian moment because we were in Pyeongchang, Korea, South Korea, and look up and there was almost more Canadian flags than there were at a Canadian national championship. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty special. And for some reason, I think, uh, Every Canadian in South Korea that day bought a ticket to yeah. the event and we felt like it was a home skate for us and the, the crowd lifted us up in that performance so mm -hmm. I mean it was a great part. One, one of the rare performances we really felt the momentum I mean in our sport there isn't mm -hmm. much momentum back and forth between the competitor but mm -hmm. in, in the middle of the program I remember having that moment of thinking wow we're building to something there's sort of leading to a crescendo and, and I can't remember ever feeling that in our career. And when you feel that you kind of we accomplish our goals at the Olympics. For, for Tessa and I, we get to stand on top of the podium, but there's a long list of people that are in the trenches with you every day and go through and sacrifice their lives as well that don't get a gold medal, that don't stand on the podium with you, but um, as well as the support you get from Canadian fans. So on the plane ride home, we kind of started thinking, you know, what can we do? What can we do to give back for everything that we've received in our amateur career? And part of that is uh, what can we do for young people to make sure that they have the same uh, opportunities that we have um, and inspiring them is one of them so I think that that's a big part of this Thank You Canada tour we wanted to make sure that we said thanks to the fans but also if we can inspire you know kids to to take up sport or extracurricular activities instead of the, the dozens of, of pressures that they go through in life and um, focus on the positives if we can do that for one or two people across the country then we've accomplished our job and that's part of this project is the give back. Are you thinking about uh, Beijing in we're thinking about it for sure. Um, <laughs> we're thinking that we'd like to be there. Uh, I don't know if we'll have skates on our feet, um, but let maybe tell your friends at CBC that we're open for opportunity. Um, I don't know. I think it's a we have some hard thinking to do. I, it, I know that not a single game well, will go by that we won't want to be there. That's just it. We're competitors through and through, and even as the, the season is starting now for figure skating, it feels a little strange to be on the sidelines. And thankfully, we do have this project that we're investing all of our energy into. And this mm -hmm. has become the new goal and the new purpose. And it's nice to sort of build our team in that sense. But yeah, we'll always, want, we'll always want to compete at an Olympics. I think what we have to remember is the fairy tale that was Pyeongchang might be the right way to end things. Uh, yeah. And if so, we're entirely content and pleased with that. Um, well, what makes it even easier is the f fantastic Canadian teams that are coming behind us. I mean, we're so pleased to have Caitlin and Andrew in this show, taking a little break from their amateur career. Their story isn't completely written yet, um, and we're fans of theirs. There's also a great, uh, great young team here in Montreal that just started representing Canada. Like, uh, maybe it's just time for us to move on and, and let them let them take over and. Uh, we're, we're very pleased and maybe it's time for us to be a bit more fans. What do you think accounts for the success in Canadian skiing? Well, skiing is part of our DNA in Canada, isn't it? I mean, they're just such great programs like Canskate for the fundamental skating skills. Mm -hmm. and the glide of the blade, I mean, you look at someone like Patrick Chan and that's unparalleled uh, across the board in, in our sport. And I think that foundation of solid skating skills um, it stands the test of time, and, and then you just sort of layer the, the skill set on there. But you know, we talked a lot about Canadians. We're, we're also a winter sport country, and um, you know that it's synonymous with being Canadian, almost as strapping on a pair of skates, whether it's speed, hockey, or figure skates. My, uh, what, in my opinion, what makes Canadian skating so great is, is the professionals that we have that are Canadian. Um, the choreographers, the coaches, 
uh, people that have come before us. And uh, finally, in Canadian skating, we have schools that are in Canada for so long. A lot of our career we spent in, in America and Detroit. We're very proud of Patrice and Mary France for coming back to Montreal, starting a school here. Um, obviously, their work with the city of Montreal has helped them make the best ice dance school in the world. Brian Orso, Tracy Wilson in, in Toronto, I think uh, what they're doing is simply fantastic. I think those schools are what create great Canadian skating. Um, and those, those people who, uh, you know them from when they competed, but I don't think a lot of Canadians understand the sacrifice that goes on after that and to go into the coaching and, and kind of s give back. Um, and make sure that other people have those same opportunities. That's, I think, what makes uh, Canadian skating so great.